Christian here, Everything Residential. Today I want to talk to you about this wall we built. It's all made out of scaffolding boards. So let's roll the intro and we'll get into it. are actually laminated boards. So this is just regular wood and then this is laminated. So we cut them and then we dipped them in roofing tar. If you can see this black stuff down here. So we dipped them in roofing tar. We dug our holes, let the roofing tar set up a day and then we set them in the holes and we poured bags of concrete and mixed in the spot rather than having a mixer. So that's how the posts are. Our actual wall panels are the regular wood and you can see this is, look at all Look at like the wear and tear it has on there. They're all kind of cracking. Um, there's lots of stucco and mortar on it. Uh, so these are retired scaffolding boards. So, you know, essentially what I was told is, is that when people are doing scaffolding, if the board becomes too cracked or becomes too warped or too bad, they have to get rid of it. Um, so you can get these at a really good price. If you know the right people, you can get these at a really good price. And we ended up fencing the entire house for, I think, five or six dollars per board now if you think about any fence slat this covers a lot of area and you get your posts at home depot these are 20 30 dollars per post so five to six dollars per post on every post you know we're saving a tremendous amount of money with this let's go around and talk about a couple different areas so anytime we have a gate and uh, Josh, the homeowner, my brother, still has to put the slats in. But anytime you have a gate, we're actually strengthening it up with a four by four. Uh, because this is a really pivotal point. We don't want this to fail. and We don't want to screw into this and crack the laminated board. So we attach a four by four to it. We nail and screw it on the uh, front side of it. And uh, then you have a little gate. Here's a little puffers right here. This is one of the main reasons we built the feds is to hold the dogs in. And because some, some of the people in the neighborhood or whatever. But yeah, that's how we do the fences. A couple other things to know is the change of grade. And as you can see, the farther you go down, the bigger the gap is. Uh, so we just got a tractor and we'll probably come back and take all this dirt right here and probably backfill or fill this in and grade it out. So it's a little, not as big of gaps so as the dogs don't escape. A couple other things that are pretty cool. You can power wash this down get it all power washed and that was one of the main reasons we use regular wood as the wall panel and not laminated boards because power washing might ruin the board but we could power wash these boards down get the stucco off clean up the best we can and you could put some acid on it you could stain it you could do you could shushuki bonnet I mean there's so many cool things you can make this board look like because once you plane it down and get it power washed it's just it's wood so you can kind of make it look clean again and stain it but yeah that's another cool reason why these boards were put up a couple other things you can do with these boards is kind of create a cool accent wall. You know, we don't want to see the pile of pavers and stuff on the other side, so create a little accent wall right here. You can mount your TV. It's kind of a rustic, kind of a man cave type of feel, and it, it looks really good. Okay, here's the difference between the laminated and the regular. So right here you can see it's just regular wood. You can see like the spirals of the wood. Now this is laminated. You can see the laminations. So you could essentially call it like a plywood or some kind of LVL where they glue it and compress it but that's a laminated structure piece of board and that's your regular wood right there and this is what it looks like on the big pallets it comes in a giant truck and there's just tons of them and we actually had to sift the biggest thing was sifting through sifting through all the wood and making sure like we kind of got straight boards and as you can see on the nailing pattern up here if you look right here we had to put multiple nails on them with screws deck screws because the boards are so warped uh, and on top of that you can see the difference in height of the boards so instead of running uh instead of running a running it down a table saw and making them all super consistent it's a little bit more rustic look and it allows kind of air to pass through a little bit more with big storms well i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is how we built this amazing fence very affordable it's very intricate cool you don't really see fences like this uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. We'll, feel, we'll be happy to answer any questions you guys got. As always, subscribe, like, and you guys have a good day.